giving her? Vegetable soup? You know what I mean. She needs more than soup. If you just stop giving her these things... Me? Hey, look it. I'm giving her the things I know best how. Friendship and soup, okay? Look, why don't you just go home and slip into something more comfortable for Charles, huh? I'll take care of her now. Can't you see that she's in no condition for what you've got in mind? That's not what I've got in mind. And my feelings for Miriam are deeper than you'll ever understand, all right? Oh, <laughs> I understand perfectly. And so does Miriam, right, Miriam? Mm, whatever Nancy says. Go, Norman. I'm not leaving till I know that Miriam's all right. This. It's rated G. Dad already took me to see that. Hmm. Well, how about this? Train Robber's Revenge. Oh, but it's rated PG and I can't go with you. Gee, Mom, I'm not a little kid anymore. I know, but you're still my little boy. And I got two years to catch up on, so humor me, okay? Sure. Sometimes Grandma calls Dad her little boy. <laughs> and probably for more reasons than one. Then it's, um, Train Robber's Revenge for my big boy. Why can't you come, Mom? Well, I have an appointment. I have to take care of some urgent business. But I'll pick you up later and we can go for pizza. Gee, a movie and pizza all in one day. Wait till I tell my friends. <laughs> well, maybe you can call them later. But don't you tell them about what happened to me at the zoo. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> to you, not me. Sitting in someone's bubble gum is not a laughing matter. It's a sticky situation. Can I tell Richie? I guess. But don't you forget to pick up your homework assignments. I won't, but I don't have all my books. Mom, when can I go back to school? Soon. Why? I thought you were enjoying our time together. I am, but I miss my friends. And I just got the new school. And I don't want to get bad grades. I'm sure you can make it up. You'll see. You ready to head out? You're afraid Dad'll get me from school and not let you see me anymore. You sure aren't a little boy anymore. And that had crossed my mind. But don't you worry about it. Your dad and I will work things out with a little legal help. I hope so. I miss Dad and Grandma and the new house. I see. Jimmy, I love you very much. And I want to be with you. But I want what you want. Now, you, do you want me to take you back? <sighs> Apparently, they've showed Webster some copy of a will which is valid and leaves me out of it. Are you serious? Very. Well, they could force you to leave this house at the very least. Charles, look, you're starting to sound like Webster. Nancy, I'm simply reacting to what you said. Well, don't confuse me. Well, I'd never do that. I guess I better get my bags together then. What? Well, you certainly don't expect me to sit here and face a possible scandal and not protect myself, especially since I'm really nothing more than a house guest. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. I'm very glad I've got a room at the King's Arms. You're going to leave me here? Nancy, whether you stay or go is your decision. I can't make that for you. But are you asking me to come with you? No, Nancy. I'm telling you I'm not staying. Is, uh, Becky home? <laughs> you should know where she is. I thought she'd be here or I wouldn't be. You know, I'm surprised that Cohen didn't command your presence in the big city. Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder about that, too. Becky just got back yesterday and... Yeah, uh... tell me about it. The note she left said she'd be back tomorrow. Maybe. Want to give her this sheet music? Cohen said it was urgent. That well, looks like he raced on over here for nothing. Yeah. Uh, listen. 
You want to come in for a few minutes, talk? Sure. Sharp place you got here. Yeah, tell Cohen. He's the one that picked it out and paid for it. To ban the band doesn't rate. I thought Becky and Summer win were one. We are. Then how come Cohen's not flying you guys down to New York every couple of days? It's a good question. Uh, the way I've got it figured, Becky's a star, we come later. What do you know about this Cohen guy? He's the best record producer in the business. More than that. Well, you're a typical playboy. Uh, according to his audio engineer, Cohen loves women, money, and uh, power. In that order. Uh, but it's not what you're thinking, Weaver. And what was I thinking? Well, you seem to have a tough time believing it, but uh, Becky's been true to you. <laughs> it's not Becky I don't trust. And you just don't trust anyone, do you? When it comes to Becky? No. Um, I'm sorry for hitting you. I admit I was wrong. Apology accepted. Uh, look, don't go blowing this Cohen thing all out of proportion. Oh, you wouldn't believe how much control I've had. You know, Becky can make it to the top with Cohen's help. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Carla Redland to see you, sir. Uh. Oh, okay. I send her on in. Well, hey, Miss Redland. Cause you're looking real pretty today. Thank you. I wish I felt that way. Well, uh, why don't you have a seat? You said it was important. Yes, I need to know everything you found out about my divorce. Well, I really haven't found out anything. I'm still checking into it. So what's taking so long? Well, it's not. Uh, I got my secretary on Your it. Your secretary? Mr. Webster, if you're not interested in handling this matter, just say so. Now, I must know where I stand legally as soon as possible. Well, no, just calm down, Ms. Redland. Now, look, I want to represent you, but these things take time. Now, I can have the information that you want with, within 48 hours. Is that the best you can do? Now, I realize that you really want to see your son, but you got to remember, you've been out of town for two years. Just give me two more days. I have my son. That's why the rush. What? Well, after my husband, my ex-husband, refused to tell me where they'd moved, I called my son's school and found out he'd been transferred. And you stole him? Took him. Well, same difference. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah? Nancy Lawson on line one, sir. Well, tell Ms. Lawson I'm not in. Former client. Now, uh... What now, Mr. Webster? Well, uh, we wait to see what the divorce decree states. Now, either you have been awarded visitation rights already, or, uh... Or we take Mr. Redland to court. Well, what do I do in the meantime? I mean, I don't want to risk losing my son forever on a legal technicality, and neither do I want to live in fear that Gene will take him back. Just hold on for a little while longer. I've already kept Jimmy out of school two days. Well, now, so far, you're just a loving mother who had to resort to taking her son because she was denied visitation rights by her ex. No harm done. Good. But listen, let me know everything you find out, because this isn't easy on my son either. Don't you worry. I'll take care of it. No, you don't. 
Charles and Webster might have turned their backs on me, but you're not going to marry him, dear. Mm. Come on, get up. I got something for you. Nancy, where were you when I called you? Why didn't you come? I'm right here, Miriam. Oh, my head. I feel so heavy. <laughs> I'll feel a little lighter after you have two of these. Huh? Well, I, where were you when I needed you? I found a few, finally. Hey, look it. What do you expect when you call me after the pharmacy's closed, huh? Oh. Uh, here. I'm sorry. I... I know. I know. Yeah, that's more like it. You just remember that I'm all you've got. I, I denied everything to Mitch Dunbar, so I'm your friend, too. Yeah. Nobody's going to take my house away from me. You're going to regret leaving me, Charles. Avoid a scandal, indeed. Let's see if you can avoid your own scandal. Come on, Miriam, get up, get up. Uh -huh. You going to sleep the whole day away? What time is it? Is it day or is it night? It's late afternoon. When was the last time you had something to eat? I don't know. Well, are you hungry? Mm -mm, no. Well, I'm thirsty. Can I, can I have something to drink? <clears throat> Coffee or tea? Hot tea would be nice. Okay, you wait right here. I try. Oh, Leon! <laughs> I thought you were Jimmy. Come on in. What a surprise. Yeah, my specialty. Surprises. <laughs> well, I've got a surprise for you, too. I found Jimmy, and I got him here with me. Oh, I can't wait for you to meet him. He should be back soon. Uh, where is he? Well, he's taking a swim in the hotel swimming pool. Would you like to join us for pizza later? I love it. Good. And the treat's on me. I want to thank you again for what you did the other night. Oh, uh, it was nothing. I wish I could have done more. You know, having someone to talk to during dinner really meant a lot to me. Me too. And since I'm your biggest fan, would you mind autographing my, your album? <laughs> oh, Leon! My first album? I didn't think anybody had a copy of this. It was a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't believe me when I told you I had all your albums. You know, I did think you were just trying to cheer me up. But I should have known you were the honest type right down the line. Uh, thanks, but uh, there's one thing. Oh, my manners. Uh, Would you like something to drink? No, no thanks. <laughs> uh, have you heard from Gene lately? Not since he discovered that I uh, took Jimmy. But I've talked to my lawyers. And if Gene is still stubborn, well, that's yeah, it. Yeah, Gene is stubborn, all right. To be a nice guy most of the time. How do you know? I came by to, to tell you, to, to level with you. Gene and I are friends, good friends. Did Gene put you up to spying on me? No, no, it's not like that at all. I, I recognized you in the lounge, and I just wanted to help. Just because Gene and I are friends doesn't mean I always agree with him. Did you know his new address? I helped him move. You knew how much I was hurting and you didn't tell me? I wanted to very much, but Gene wouldn't let me. Remember the phone call I made? You knew all along. Well, I think this so-called friendship of ours is about to end. And I think you had better leave now. But... Now. Admit it, Weaver. You really do like this place. Yeah, it's okay. I could learn to like it even more if Becky were here. Come in. Maybe that's Becky now. I doubt it. Russ? 
Peggy? Lori. Phil. Don't worry. Russ and I are talking this time. <clears throat> How's your lip? Look, Ma, no scar. Your husband did a great job. I'll tell him you said so. Where's Becky? Oh, you're not going to believe this one, Lori. Becky's back for one day, and then she's gone again. Oh, Russ, I'm sorry. But it sounds like it was unexpected. <laughs> Everything seems to be that's unexpected is fast becoming expected. Uh, I'll tell you something, living like this is... Russ, Lori, I, uh, I really ought to split. Okay. <clears throat> uh, hey, would you, uh... You make sure she gets that sheet music? Yeah, sure, no problem. I will. Bye, Phil. I can tell you, Lori, living like this is getting to be a real drag. Becky didn't even clean the kitchen this morning after Cohen called. Well, the note says something here about pre-publicity sessions. Yeah? Yeah, it sounds important. <laughs> yeah, everything's around here is either important or urgent. Except me. Russ, hey. I know how you feel. <clears throat> but this is a very special time in Becky's life. You're going to have to be patient. I feel like a kept man. Becky and Cohen had me set up in this expensive townhouse. Because I'm home. Oh, that kitchen should be condemned by the Board of Health. Miriam, come on, get up. I got your soup here. Huh? Soup. I didn't want soup, but I wanted tea. Miriam, you said soup. What's wrong with you lately? Oh, I did? Oh, I guess I just forgot, that's all. Here, come on. Some no, nice... No, no, later, Nancy, I don't Come on, so you have well. to have the soup. Otherwise, I'm going to feed it to you. Here, come on, open up. Uh, there, now, isn't that good? Mm. you got to get strong, you know. What? Well, you got to keep up your strength. See, I'm really your best friend, you know. I'm the one that cares about you. Nice hot soup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see you are my good friend. Yeah. Now, what will your father say? He'll see so much of an improvement. I'm sure he'll be amazed. Daddy, did he, did he ask about me lately? No, but uh, he will, I'm sure. Mm. Hey. Ugh, clumsy. Maybe that's Daddy now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, I thought I already told you. Buzz off. We... Where's Miriam? Miriam, are you all right? Of course she's all right. Now, why don't you just get lost? No fever, but Miriam, you look so pale. Oh, your hands are cold. What are you giving her? Vegetable soup. You know what I mean. She needs more than soup. If you just stop giving her these things. Me? Hey, look it. I'm giving her the things I know best how. Friendship and soup, okay? Look, why don't you just go home and slip into something more comfortable for Charles, huh? I'll take care of her now. Can't you see that she's in no condition for what you've got in mind? That's not what I've got in mind. And my feelings for Miriam are deeper than you'll ever understand, all right? <laughs> I understand perfectly. And so does Miriam, right, Miriam? Mm, whatever Nancy says. Go, Norman. I'm not leaving till I know that Miriam's all right. Becky. Laura, it's not what you think. <laughs> Hope not. I was just showing Lori the note that you left. You're back early. Yeah. Things went a little quicker than I expected, so I thought I'd come home to the lonely man of my life. But I see that he's not so lonely, is he? Becky, Russ told me about your new townhouse today at lunch. I took a chance you'd be here. And Phil just dropped off some sheet music, too. Oh. Good, we've been waiting on it. Yeah. Well, Laura, how do you like it? What I've seen so far is just beautiful. <laughs> but I, I'll take a rain check on the Grand Tour. Well, look, you don't have to leave on my account. Well, you just got home, and I should be getting home. And I'll call you about that rain check, okay? <clears throat> look, call any time, because I'm in and out. See you later, Laura. You know, Laurie was just trying to... Help me feel better because you were gone. I consider it. <laughs> Didn't know you need your hand held. I usually don't. But you haven't been around much lately to do it. I hurried home, especially for you, you know. Yeah? Yeah. For me, huh? Yeah. I missed you. 
Yeah, I already regretted another night without you. <laughs> I was looking forward to a real romantic night in our new house, you know. Yeah? Yeah. I love you, babe. You and Lori had lunch? Mary, look at me. Look at me! Oh, I see you, Norman. How many pills did you take? I don't know. A couple. Will you get out of here? I'm gonna call the police. Go ahead. Mary, do you want to go to the hospital? No, go away. Because Nancy's taking care of me. You heard her. Go on. I'll be around. He's gone, Miriam. Don't worry. I need medicine. I don't feel well. Well, Miriam, they're all gone. There's none left. He just brought me a full bottle. Miriam, that was two days ago. 